So for your wallow controllers, there are four main buttons you need to worry about. Your infinity key, the advance key, and your two arrow keys. So whatever, in whatever order they're in, these are your four main buttons. So first, you're gonna have to unlock the controller. So you're gonna go and press the infinity key and the advance key at the same time. This screen should appear. So this is the, uh, the lock page so you're going to press advanced key and from here you're going to write down the values you have on a piece of paper and save them so for me it's one three off three and two but yours could be different so from here you're going to change this about this into a two this is going to stay a three this is going to stay off this is going to change it to a five and this is going to change it into a five from here, your controller should be unlocked. So you press the infinity key and this will send you back. Just uh, it'll send you back to this or just keep pressing it until you get to here. From here, you're gonna hold down both the up and down arrow at the same time. And you keep holding it. So a page should appear and then keep holding it. And then it should say set on the bottom. So from here, you're gonna scroll using the up key until it says loop. From here, you're gonna press the advanced key. And then from here, you're gonna keep pressing the advanced key until the bottom says RP. So this is ramp. So RP means ramp. So from here, you're gonna set it to whatever you need. If you need it to be off, this is how you're gonna to get to that. And from here, once you've done change what you need to change, press the infinity key and go all the way back. So this value of 1600, as soon as you, uh, Turn it on, it should go spike all the way up to 1600. And so from here, you're gonna have to relock your controller. So you're gonna have to press the infinity key and the advanced key again and keep holding it. So here, you're gonna have to scroll until it says lock. So you just press down once and it got to, gets to lock. So now you just plug in the original values you had. Mine was one, mine was three, off, three and two and then once you're done you press the infinity key back to the home screen and now your your controller should be locked again and then from here you just set whatever value you need was 1500 and it should go to 1500 pretty quickly